too many things are defeating my mental propensity. The God the Bible portrays seems far from mirage, let alone reality. Because too many folks are representing him in a wrong way. Hence the casualties. Ah, where did we get it wrong? When was the truth we placed? When did the light become darkness? And when did the way become so opaque? There are too many church buildings, yet many are monuments. Pastor A wants to challenge Pastor B about who has the most sophisticated auditorium, stage lights, heavy screens, and heavy podium. Huge congregation with overflows, yet the members do not even know this God in whose name they have gathered. Instead of preaching Christ, the pastor will use the pulpit to cook banter and argument against a fellow pastor. The focus is now about branding and pleasure, rather than helping members know the ways of God. Is God aware the gift he gave to men to reveal him? Is now an enterprise for showmanship and making of names? Zero passion for souls. No more transformation in souls. No more turning regular church members into men and women who reflect Christ. So we have 100 churches in the community, but the only beer bar in the same community is winning more souls than all these 100 churches. See, many Christians are now great proponents of atheism, not because God does not exist, but they have not encountered this unseen God in these clerical folks. K was serving his pastor faithfully. He sometimes leaves the pastor's house at 3 a.m. A time came when K needed a little help from pastor, but he was nowhere to be found. Church members are no longer like the Berians. Pastor is serving them with the same old Zoom lion will even reject. Yet they are shouting, go deeper, go deeper. Too many prayer points on God, give me this and give me that. Yet holiness and righteousness is an alien to the church. Molestation of ladies in churches by junior pastors and church elders. The damsel has now become a meal simply because she needs a little help. Is this the church Christ left for us? Is this the church he came to die for? We do a lot of crazy things because we want to catch the anointing upon the papa. A married woman will be serving papa for many hours, leaving the husband and children home hungry. She bows to papa, but points fingers on her husband. Now papa is more revered than God. During worship, church members are seated unconcerned. Some are on their phones taking pictures to post on social media. But as soon as papa enters the auditorium, the congregation will be on their feet with mama looking so good and customized. Every three days, mama needs to change her hairstyle. Her heels are sophisticated as the presidential seat of King Solomon. We have those who carry her bag and the ones that carry her Bible. Yet she's never a living example even to the young ladies in the church. Ah, carnality has baptized the church. No wonder it's only fair ladies with big breasts and bottles can be ushers. Cause the church strategy is to use them to draw the guys. After that, these same guys will be fornicating with them. We do not even know the difference between the church and the club anymore because the variables are now the same. The blind can even tell. May God empower the few folks who are fighting to maintain clean hands, to the few who have sustained a level of consciousness to represent Christ, to the few who have vowed not to bow to Babylon on the wide way. Keep your eyes perpetually fixed on I am. For he said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven.